I hope everyone is preparing well. Uh, MBA exams are around the corner. I think hardly 100 days, and I will try to uh, give some key insights from what my experience is uh, from the years of preparation I have had. So. Um, the first and foremost thing I would try to tell is like the basics are very important and without basics you can't go forward. So focus more on the basics part, uh, then try to give uh, mocks initially, uh, analyze them, uh, the ratio of time that you give to mocks and analyzing them should be quite different. So if you are giving a mock for 2 or 3 hours, um, your analysis part should go around 6 to 8 hours, put them down in excel shape, tally them with where are your strengths, where are your weaknesses work upon them work on the basics give them a different strategy like uh, this is the weakest so i'll give a red color then the yellow and the green which you're confident with based on them make your strategy devise your strategy based on that the next thing is like uh first uh, i would say like first 30 40 days focus on the basics and once you are good with the basics improve the frequency of the mocks and in these 30 days of initial basis preparation you should not uh, leave out on the mocks you consistently give them your marks will be coming low but that's a learning aspect and your curve will go to a certain point and then get stagnated and that's when you have to give twice or uh, two mocks every week come up with new strategies see where you're struggling talk to your mentors and uh, uh, do different kinds of problems different kinds from the past papers past aim class or past uh, same cats whatever you have and one suggestion is that don't stick to only one approach or thing take multiple ones uh, if you're taking aim cats sim cats or any kind of mocks like ins one in one week uh, from each of them so try to sit down uh, write one mock analyze it for two days then try to write another one analyze it for two days uh, that's how we have to go and while you're approaching for the last 20 days we have to revise every day so for example this week we are targeting geometry um, every day when you start geometry doing any problem geometry it should flash in your mind that from last to the end like from start to the end you should have all the formulas on your fingertips and uh, coming to vrc there is a proper structure you have to follow for vrc it's not something like you come out of the blue you read the para and answer uh, focus more on the critical reasoning questions like inferences um deductions these are what uh, makes a real difference because uh, straight questions have been not common in the past uh, four or five years uh, then coming to lrda there is no better than uh, practice for lrda nothing saves you uh, if you are not good at lrda only practice can do it and consistent practice is very important so you can try to solve uh, different sets, take a couple of sets every day, uh, try different uh, methodologies, just not just not confine yourself to uh, linear arrangements or circular arrangements, there are more in-depth concepts, go to YouTube, search about them, try to complete the class assignments, uh, try to do previous year papers, take the previous year papers as mocks and initially try them. So these things should be done in the next 45 days after getting strong on your basics. So, to uh, conclude this, the first 45 days, focus on your basics, give one mock per week, try to analyze for 6 to 8 hours on each mock, uh, then the next is about how you uh, take it to the next level after the saturation point and say, uh, try to give two mocks, do the advanced level questions, um, try to understand and follow the recent news, uh, not much but it's very good for interviews in the long run because if you doesn't do that from now, uh, at the going forward you'll get stuck and uh, it will be very hectic to cope up with um, i think that's it from my side if you have any questions or doubts you can reach out to me